Inside the squatter's debtor's prison, an abandoned prison in Dublin's inner city has been occupied to be used as shelter and as an art space. The prison lies behind Capel Street, the entrance is in Hobson Street. Two of those occupied were recently evicted from the Grange Gorman squat and they announced the occupation via the Grange Gorman Resists Eviction Facebook page. Basements has nasty dark cells where poor prisoners were kept. But as a debtor's prison, many of the inmates were wealthy gamblers. In the 1790s, when the prison was built, they could rent upstairs rooms, which came complete with fireplaces, and those rooms today are still quite habitable. There were 33 such rooms, which were still public housing into the 1980s. The last elderly tenant was there in the early 1980s, on the second floor. She played a mouth organ, which could be heard resonating all over the prison. Perhaps she lived in this very room, which is once more a home. The state is seeking to get the people now living here evicted. It's saying that putting them on the streets would be for their own good. That's because the building is in a state of disrepair and there's pigeon shit. Mind you, there's plenty of pigeon shit on the cold, dark streets of Dublin. The people living here don't want to leave their new homes. They want to fix it up and to make it safe, but they also want to open up the space. They want to open it as an art performance space, just as they previously did in Grange Gorman, which saw many performances. A local business has even offered a grant of 10,000 a year for 10 years in order to help. Certainly some of the prison needs a lot of work after years of being abandoned. The ground floor in particular is in a poor state, perhaps due to vandalism. That happens to empty buildings that are left empty and abandoned. They don't get better by themselves. But right now, enough has been fixed up for something around 15 people to live here. And with so many already homeless, throwing these people on the streets doesn't sound like any sort of sensible solution to anything. The building has had a lot of uses over its more than 200 year history. It was a police barracks too, first for the Royal Irish Constabulary and then later for the Garda. It's behind the old special criminal courts on Green Street that's where Robert Emmett was tried in the aftermath of the 1803 rebellion. And the IRA may well have blown a hole in one wall during an escape bid from the Special Criminal Courts in the 1980s. More recently, it's been used as a film location in a couple of films. It's now a home again, rather than a slowly rotting vacant building. The courtyard could certainly host art performances. In fact, it will be this Sunday afternoon from about 4pm. The courts have said that those living here have to be out by midnight on Sunday. When we left, we found eviction documents had been stuck to the gates when we were inside. Dublin has seen so many evictions from buildings that are then left empty. You can find out more about these at www.wsm.ie slash squat.